love The Descendants, but there are plenty of things out there you never knew about these movies. Stay tuned to the end when we tell you about the news that shocked the cast. If this is your first time visiting us, then make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to The Things. Today we are looking at 10 dark secrets and descendants Disney doesn't want you to know. The Typhoon one of the most memorable scenes in Descendants 2 comes about halfway through the film. Carlos and Evie have to convince Ben how to fit into the Isle of the Lost. They do this by singing the awesome song, Chillin' Like a Villain. However, what you might not have known was that this scene ended up being very hard to film. It was shot in a factory in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. However, as the cameras were rolling and the cast were getting ready to put in a great performance, the weather struck in the form of a typhoon. Descendants 2 director Kenny Ortega says that he is proud of everyone who worked on that part of the film because you wouldn't have known just how bad conditions were. He says that the sets were blowing away and the rain was coming down in buckets right as the stars were singing and dancing. This was the very last part of Descendants 2 to be filmed on location, and it is one of our favorite scenes in the movie. Kenny Ortega says it was a real challenge because he had to make Make sure that everyone was safe and no one panicked. He obviously did his job brilliantly because watching it, you wouldn't know it was being shot during a typhoon. Dove's Bruises it's not uncommon for people to have accidents of one kind or another while at work. It's easy enough to trip or to hurt yourself or to even suffer a paper cut. And that's as true as if you're a movie star on set as if you are working in an office. It certainly looks true enough if you are Dove Cameron. Dove, who stars as Mal in the Descendants franchise, has spoken about some things that happened to her while she was making Descendants 2. Dove went onto her Twitter and told her fans that things were not as easy as people might think that they were. In fact, she said that it seemed like every day she was leaving the set with a lot of different bruises. However, she also laughed it off, saying that all it was was a way of showing that she was committed to her craft of acting. But the one thing we don't know because Dove didn't tell us was exactly what those bruises were and how she managed to get them, thanks to either the technological magic of CGI or the old-fashioned magic of the movie's makeup department. We didn't see them on screen either. Harry and Gil In the run-up to Descendants 2 coming out, there was one photo that got a lot of attention. It looked like Thomas Doherty, aka Harry Hook, and Dylan Playfair, aka Gil, were kissing. This certainly got people interested and sparked some interesting theories. We wondered whether it might mean that we would, for the first time, see an official gay couple in a Disney movie. Bear in mind that when the photo came out, we hadn't yet met either Harry or Gil, so there was a lot of speculation about who they were. The other idea people had was that Thomas had broken up with Duff Cameron and was now dating Dylan. When people who saw the photo saw the movie, they wondered whether the studio had thought a kiss between two male characters would be a bit too controversial, so they edited it out at the last minute. But the kiss was never actually in the movie's script. But here's the crazy thing. In the novelization of of the movie, Gil and Harry kissed. So here's a new theory. Perhaps something might develop between Gaston's son and James Hook's son in Descendants 3. Or maybe they were together in Descendants 2, we just didn't see it. Descendants Dancing if you had to talk about something that the Descendants movies have a lot of, then you'd put dancing close to the top of the list. After all, it is kind of a musical. Musicals have dances that go with the songs. But just because it has dancing, that doesn't automatically mean that everyone who is in the film is the greatest dancer. In fact, some of the cast were chosen because they weren't as good at dancing as they were with other things. For example, in an interview, Descendants 2 director Kenny Ortega admitted that one of the reasons he cast Mitchell Hope as Ben was because he wasn't the best dancer in the world. In fact, he said it was a real plus point for the character because it gave him more of an everyman quality. Well, as much as the prince son of Belle and Beast could be an everyman. And talking of Beast, the actor who plays him in the Descendants franchise, Dan Payne, has also admitted to getting a bit nervous when he had to film a dance sequence. He said that shooting the scene where his character danced was the scariest bit of the movie for him. You wouldn't know it when you saw it, though. Why is Dove Cameron Dove Cameron? So if we ask who is Dove Cameron, we bet every single one of you will be able to say a lot of things about her. She's the brilliant young actress who plays Mal in the Descendants movies, of course. But there's a sad and interesting fact about Dove Cameron that we think you may not have known. And that is that her name isn't really Dove, or at least it wasn't originally. She was originally named Chloe, but her father, Philip Allen Hosterman, used to call her Dove when she was a little girl. Although her parents divorced and her mother remarried, which is why we know her as Dove Cameron, not Dove Hosterman, she stayed close to her father 
father. However, tragedy struck. When Dove, or Chloe, was 15 years old in 2011, her father tragically took his own life. Dove was understandably distraught. However, she paid tribute to her late father in what we think is a heartbreakingly perfect way. When it was time for her to become a star of the screen, she took the stage name Dove. So it's like every time someone calls her Dove, it's like her dad is living on. It's an absolutely wonderful tribute to him, and we will admit we feel a bit emotional talking about it. Dylan lets things slip. If you were a fan of the first Descendants movie, then you'll know just how exciting it was waiting for Descendants 2. Everyone had their own theories about what was going to happen and who would be in it. And when we saw the poster, we scoured it for clues about the film, and we also tried to see if there was any sign of an official release date. But people who knew who was in the film and followed them on social media might well have got an accidental exclusive about when Descendants 2 was due to come out. That's because a new member of the cast accidentally let it slip. If you followed Dylan Playfair, who was announced as playing Gil in the run-up to the release of the movie, on Instagram, then you might have found out something very interesting and important. That is because Dylan posted the Descendants 2 release date of June 23rd, 2017 on the image sharing app. Although he was pretty quick to delete the post, it caught on and soon most Descendants fans were in on the information. We don't know if Dylan got punished for his slip. If he did, we hope it wasn't too severe. Mal and Harry if you're as crazy about the Descendants franchise as we are, then we think you pay attention to what it is the stars of the movies have to say. It looks like a lot of them are as much fans of the series as we are. Dove Cameron had a great theory about her character. She thinks Mal was also dating Harry Hook when she was younger, and the actress even thinks that they had secret tattoos. But she ended up breaking his heart, moved on, and found someone else. That's what gave them weird tension, and why he hates Ben and Mal being together. Dove even thinks that Harry loved Uma, but unfortunately for him, she didn't love him back either. We can think of a lot of Descendants fans who would love Harry. Dove concluded by saying that's why he hates Mal so much. He's like a broken man because of that. However, if you've been paying attention to what Dove's been up to, you'll know that there is a pretty awesome subtext to that. And that is that Dove is dating Thomas Doherty, who plays Harry. So maybe that could have motivated Dove to come up with her theory. Dove versus China Ann on the screen, it is pretty clear that Mal and Uma from Descendants 2 really don't like each other. But off screen, it looks like Dove Cameron and China Ann McLean are good friends. Or are they? Around the time that the movie hit our screens, there were rumors that the two were involved in a feud. The source for this bit of gossip was, at first glance, a bit weird. There was a video on YouTube called Car Sentence. In it, some of the film's cast were captured on video singing Uma's What's My Name song, but some people thought that Dove was looking at China Ann pretty oddly. This ended up sparking a lot of controversy, as it seemed to suggest that Dove had some kind of beef with China Ann. It became such a big deal that Dove had to step in and correct people. She posted on Twitter that she had no idea where the rumors came from, and she said it was time that they stopped. But they were so widespread, she even sent records of conversations she had had with her co-star. And China Ann also jumped in, telling people that she loved Dove. So that was one weird rumor. But we're glad Dove and China Ann corrected things. What you didn't see. When movies get made, there's always scenes that end up on the cutting room floor. Quite often, it's through no fault of their own, it's just that the movie's makers want to trim their work down a bit. And that was true of Descendants 2. However, if they had stayed in the completed film, then it might have been quite a different experience. For instance, if you were a fan of the song If Only from the first film, then you should know that it could have ended up in the second. There was a scene of Mal singing it, but it got left out, much to our disappointment. And did you know there were several different versions of the ending? In the completed film, we see Uma turn to the camera and say, you didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? But the movie's creators also filmed a version with Harry Hook saying the line. And best of all, he says it in a very dark and mysterious way. And Dizzy Tremaine also said the line, but in a lovely, sweet, and innocent way. Which makes sense considering she's pretty much the opposite of Harry and Uma's characters. We think that changing the end would have given both Descendants 2 and Descendants 3 a different flavor. The Descendants 3 Announcement if you love Descendants 2, then you'll know waiting for news about the third movie was pretty agonizing. Although Uma's final line of, you didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? Reflected Mal's from the first film, we could only hope that Disney would continue the franchise. So when the announcement came in February 2018 that there would be a Descendants 3, it was a surprise and a relief. But fans weren't the only people who weren't aware that there was going to be a third film. That's because the cast of Descendants 2 were also kept in the dark about it. Stars like Dove Cameron, Cameron Boyd, 
voice in China and McLean admitted after the second movie came out that they did not know if there was going to be a third part to the story. So Disney must have been pretty secretive because it wasn't that long between the release of the second film and the announcement about the third, which we can kind of understand, but we still feel a bit sorry for the actors who were left up in the air about it. But we wondered whether there were any other things Disney might not want us to know about the Descendants movies. Don't be shy, let us know in the comments. And that's all for our 10 dark secrets and descendants Disney doesn't want you to know. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Things.